Cox. I am the rentals manager for Deep Cove Canoe and Kayak Center. Uh, we're here talking about stand-up paddleboarding and what to wear with stretchy shorts and a merino wool top made by Icebreaker. Something quick, I'm going to be out there sweating so I've got the attire that's appropriate. I've always got my PFD so I've got my waistband here. Um, it's an inflatable by CO2 cartridge and it's just a waistband here. Uh, PFD is mandatory to be wearing on your board and especially with Deep Cove Community Kayak Center it is to be worn if on the board. the conditions were to become a little harsher or if I were preparing for say a crossing not a shoreline paddle I'd be definitely be wearing a leash so a leash which would be attached to my Perfect. board. Okay so these are a neoprene short so something that you would wear if you were planning on doing a little bit of a longer paddle where the weather could change um, at any time if you're gonna do any crossings these are good because if you were to fall in the water the neoprene which is the material that it's made out of it uh, will keep you insulated so it'll keep you nice and warm if got wet um, it, it heats the water, so that sits here. It's a lightweight dry suit or some sort of merino wool, something that if gets wet or if gets sweaty of any kind, and you're gonna stay warm. And then you put this over top. So this is your submersion gear. This, if you were to fall in, it'll keep you completely dry. Uh, in the colder temperatures, a full body wetsuit. So that full body neoprene, again, uh, keeping yourself warm in those colder temperatures. This is something that we would use for maybe sup surfing, uh, so paddle surfing. It, uh, it definitely makes a big difference in the West Coast waters. So a full body wetsuit, neoprene. This is about 5'4", uh, so in thickness, so it's quite thick.